I think it's like mandatory that I keep Missy Vortex oftentimes because I just don't have many plays to draw through my deck. And I guess Bard of the UDS is pretty slow. I think we just want to play Mystic Vortex maybe now. Maybe I'm better off trying to curve out a little bit here. I can always hold on to this and wait. I have plenty of plays for the next few turns, so uh, we'll, we'll play Zolta here, I think. Warm your body, warm your soul. Overwhelm. I'll swing, I'll block. Let's just get uh, Domination onto the field. Yeah, let's do that. I should stamp you out like the insect you are. Sentry. Benefits to swinging are pretty limited now, so we'll pass. There's no point to swing with this. If anything, I'm giving them the card draw immediately, and it will reduce their stance. Their random stance will get improved by that. And not many things for them to play on turn four. I guess Bard is a considerable play. Abling Bjerg. We'll lead with the Esmus here. I'll swing with this. I want to be mindful of ram stance the best I can. So how we block here is probably just... Tough day, friend. Maybe just this for now. We'll play Mystic Vortex. So this will probably always draw them Udia. Three chimes. Wow, that's a 810 Moduli. That's pretty cool. Let's play Solitude. Challenger Overwhelm. If we can like, if he does not ramp stance to clear that, if we can get that on Maduli, that would be actually huge. Yo, Thunderous Nice. I did not know there were enough cards to make this champ combo work. Yo, true story. So with this deck, with this deck actually, um, in order to like fill the deck, you only have two cards that can't fit. I would love to get this Maduli down. I can't think of there being a reason for me to actually consider playing anything here. Okay, fair enough. Let's just commit to the Maduli now, I reckon. They could have another Ram stance. It's quite possible. No swing. Interesting. I don't know if there's actually a point for me to develop here. Unless I'm trying to be like aggressive and like try and force off the board lifesteal. You know, for a Runeterra Champions deck, not drawing the champions feels kind of bad. This is probably going to get dealt with like with a troll chant or something along those lines. Wow, the Cosmic Binding? Are you, are you How did you end up with Solitude? When I'm summoned, when you summon a one cost ally, oh, dude, Solitude works with all one cost allies. I guess I'm just gonna swing with a 910. Yeah, the issue with this deck is that we're just so vanilla. Like we can't do many broken things. I guess that deck's pretty vanilla too, but they have better combat tricks than we do. We rely heavily on like Cosmic Binding and Hate Spike to find us value. Other than that, we're realistically just trying to outstat the opponent, as what Bard decks do, just with no interaction. But that's the fun of it. I still see fate here for you. I could potentially kill the idea here, depending on what they decide to do. You've climbed with this deck? <laughs> Not exactly. I'm three and one. Magic to spread around. Okay, let's play Mystic Vortex. This is going to be a really weird game. I think what's going to happen here is I'm just going to have to try and add value with Maduli. Hopefully eventually find my Bard. Yeah, I would have like needed to find my Bard already. I think having Bard onto the field just uninteracted with would have a good shot of getting us there. Now they've got their Bard, things probably are going to start getting very difficult. I do play Triple Cosmic Binding, which is going to do, buy us some time, but realistically, without actually pushing some sort of win condition or some way to win, it's, yeah, problem. Like, I am going to have more chimes, but now, not with the Bard. Bard's going to catch up real quick. This is pretty cool. Bard Udia sounds fun. Okay, it's just inner firing. Going to try and, you know, get some more Overwhelm stuff happening. I am relying on this draw. The draw from the Mystic Vortex to me is very important. So I'm going to hold back here. See what kind of trades I can get done here. I could go for the kill on Nudia. What do I block with here? 
The life still might be cool. Domination's probably not super relevant here. I have a good chance to kill both here. I think I want to hate spike on this stack. It's probably a bit awkward to do this on the stack. I mean, now they can respond with their three sisters, Fury of the North and stuff, and I guess I'll be locked into kind of playing Cosmic Binding at that point. That's fine. They have three cards in hand. I'll take my chances. So he goes for a freeze here. So what I'm thinking is we're going to stun and deal two to this. And I wonder if we go for Solitude, try and find some more lifesteal units. Double Solitude on the field, it's going to be pretty funny. Well, actually, it depends what we find from this. Maybe we're better off trying to give, like, Solitude Elusive or something. Yeah, that could be the line, actually, because Evelyn's not really pumped up. So let's go ahead and try for that. Fading Husk, there we go. And we did deny the stance from Yudi's attack. So hopefully there's no way for them to find a ram stance here. Big elusive solitude is what I'm thinking. What is this? Entombing the Evelyn. That's not much of an issue, actually. I've got my plan. My plan is to go big with solitude, right? <laughs> In fact... Unless they find the freeze, we kind of just have lethal, no? We could even... We don't even need to play a lure, but a lure can find our spell shield, which would be huge, right? I'm so alone. Not quite, but we'll take it. We can only play one of these cards. Let's just go for lethal, right? I will not waste my time breaking the rope. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Are you different? That is beautiful. War Mother's Call? What's that gonna find you? Can it deal with the 2020, 20, 22 elusive solitude? I don't think so. We'll just swing with this, that's it, GG. Wow. 